but now he's back in the yard. Whose yard? Mosier's. Where I thought I hit the window. Oh. That's weird. Yes. Doing? Yeah, she said he's sitting there. School's like now. Kids are going to be over there. Oh, God. Nah, maybe, and then we'll... Well, he's back, yeah. isn't he? Get him to the rehab now. Sure. He was too spunky yesterday. Was he? I yeah. kept looking out there, and my boy was out, and my boy kept barking, of course. He I was clear him. back to the pond yesterday in a tree. I thought he was okay. Oh, uh, sure. I'll just hold on to him. How's that? Yeah, I don't want him popping out. Oh, okay. do, you, do, you, do you want me to close your door? Yeah. You in? Yeah, I'm in. Well, that was quick. Yeah, I cannot believe how well that went. Don't drive off the road, lady. Turn on the blue light. We've got an owl here. Turn on the owl light. Do we have an owl light? Okay, don't hit me, please. We have an owl on board. <laughs> I'm trying to pit on an owl. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Did Paisa tell you about that one? There's a Netflix documentary where it looks like this husband killed his wife. Yes. It's called The Staircase. This woman, uh, well, a man calls 911. They get to the house. They find his wife at the bottom of a staircase, just covered in blood. Just drenched blood all over and everyone he's claiming oh I don't know what happened she must have fallen down the stairs but other people say that the amount of blood and contusions and injuries on her is inconsistent with falling down the stairs that she was attacked so that's the big drama is did he kill her did he not kill her but there is a fringe theory that it was an owl what done it. That she was outside. I've heard this story now. Would you say that? Yes. Yeah, I've heard this story. That she was attacked by an owl. She got into the house. Got into the house and then fell down the stairs. Yeah. yeah. And what makes the theory interesting is there were some reports of owl attacks in the area. An owl attitude. But owl Netflix box. doesn't even acknowledge the owl theory. Netflix doesn't acknowledge the owl theory. By golly, we're gonna make them acknowledge the owl theory when it comes to our murders. Yeah, really. Going out by owl. Didn't get his leg through that lid. That's one. If he gets a foot I'm through there, it's all over. It's all over. To be honest, I'm kind of worried about my junk more than my arm. No, I'm not worried about him coming out the bottom. Do you want to like? Put a blanket over the box, or no? I'm just gonna keep it compressed. Just We're tough not it far out. From oh, okay. Place. A couple miles. I am right here. Is what we're doing legal right now? Yeah. Yeah, because we talked to everybody about it. You know, sure. it's the same bird. So it's we talked to the COs. We yeah. talked to the rehab. rehab. We're taking it to the rehab. What would be illegal would be like if we took it home. Yes. And tried to rehab ourselves. Yes. Okay. Talked to a conservation officer and we'd been in touch with this rehab lady and we thought the owl was fine and then today we got a call the owl was back in the yard and so we called the rehab lady and school's laid out, kids were coming and we were able to do a quick capture of the owl and then just get it to her so she didn't have to come. 
When those school children were coming out and that owl was in that yard, they weren't asking who was there to put it in a box. <laughs> they just wanted it in a box. They just needed it in a box. Need help? Do you think you got it? I'll get out of your way. He was a little oh. slower than yesterday, I think, and, and we were able to. Uh, Are you coming? Yeah, I couldn't get, get out. So we'll, we'll keep that close. I just used my fire gloves, and yeah. they're pretty heavy. <laughs> These are uh, Kevlar, but okay. oh, wow. darn, they're awkward to work in. Yeah. Those are the ones I prefer, but invariably, they catch the seam. And go in. <laughs> so she gave those to you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I did, yes. <laughs> okay, are you ready? They bite. Yeah, Ooh. they have a beak. Yeah, hawks, <laughs> well, you know, hawks, the hawks will very seldom bite. Oh, really? But boy, owls really do. And of course, it doesn't do any good to cover the head on an owl because they like the dark. Yeah. Oh, it looks like he's got a little toe hurt. Maybe. Oh, yeah, look, there's one toe there. Oh, he's got a, it's really dark. Oh, he's got an injured foot. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I noticed he had a fly around him yesterday. Yeah, he's got an injured toe. I don't know what happened. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Because it doesn't show any contusions or anything. Yeah, it's just like dried up and scaled off. Well, the halux are still good, though. And then if, if they don't have a good halux, which is the, the back, back one, one yeah. they're dead. Yeah, they can't eat. They still got one good foot, though, too. Yeah. But. This is unfortunately a killing toe, but he, he should be okay. But you know, that's been that way a while. Look at that. Yeah, it is. Look at that toenail. Usually, when you see them like it's this, not. it's either a, a trap, and I'll tell you what, it looks like he's been in a trap. Oh, no. But this time of year, how could he? People don't check their traps. You should see me when I get back on along, you know, I've got so much to the canoe room. Yeah. People pull up in their canoes and throw the crap out, and I'm back there with my dogs. It's terrible. And it's illegal for me to remove that trap. It's too pale. See how yeah. pale it is? Yeah. It's not good. He's yeah. probably not been able to hunt for a while. Right. Now, because of his injuries, I will probably send this one over to Fort Wayne. They have, they have an ICU unit with, oh. a, with a veterinarian, Dr. Funnel. I wish I had seen that yesterday. I just, well, the way it. he was getting up and moving, we figured... When we left him last night, there is this right... My property comes right in there to town, and there's a dike in about a 10-acre wetland. And he had worked his way down the dike, and he was up on a deadfall off of another tree. And he was up off the ground six feet or so last night, sitting up there in the tree. And we thought, okay, he's good. trying to be a little careful there. He's faster than I don't care how fast you think you are. They're faster. <laughs> it's a, I, I take a different version of it for arthritis. Okay. And what it is, is it's an anti-inflammatory, anti-pain. So assuming that he originally probably hit something, it reduces the swelling in the brain as well, well as the fact that it will relieve a little bit of the pain that he's obviously feeling. Now I wonder if he's just been down so long from that injury. He probably never hit anything. He probably just worked his way into town there. Hang on here. 